Are you ready? Today is the first day of middle school. It is sunny outside. Dad is in front of the door. Are you ready, Jimin? No, I'm not. Hurry up. We're late. I put on my school uniform. I brush my hair. I am almost ready. I'm ready now. Where's your backpack? Oh, my. You're nervous. <laughs> my backpack is in my room. I hurry. Uh, Dad? What? Where's your coat? It's sunny but a little cold. Are you nervous? We laugh together and go out. Good to see you. We have three PE classes a week. We play basketball in the gym and play soccer on the playground. Excuse me. Hello, everyone. I'm Bong Jong Shik. I teach math. Some students aren't good at math, but don't worry. My math class is fun. A perfect name for the math teacher. Welcome. The library is open from 9 to 5. Come here during your breaks or after school. We have many great books. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you all. This is the school cafeteria. First year students eat lunch here at 12.30. Lunch menus are on the school website. Thank you. Hi, I'm the school nurse. I take care of six students. Where is the restroom? Sit quietly. Sit quietly, Hojin. Mom says. We are at my cousin's school. He plays his violin on stage, and people listen quietly. I move in my seat. Mom's hand is on my leg. She shakes her head. I sit quietly. My foot is asleep. I kick it up and down. I hit the chair in front of me. The girl on the chair looks back. Mom is not happy. I sit quietly. Oh, no. My throat feels funny. Cough! Mom jumps from the sound. I sit quietly. I look around. A man is asleep. His head moves up and down. I laugh. Don't laugh, I tell myself. Think of tomorrow's math test. That works. I sit quietly. I have a runny nose. I blow my nose. Mom looks at me and says, Shh. I sit quietly. Oh, no. I see a fly. It sits on my leg. Whack! I miss. Mom looks at me. She does not see the fly. Everyone in the room turns and looks at me. I sit quietly. On the way home, Mom smiles and says, Good job, Hojin. The concert is over. Move and laugh now. It's okay. But I do not move. I do not laugh. I just sit quietly. Fun on Saturdays Saturday is a fun day for many students. They have lots of free time, and they enjoy their hobbies. Here are some stories about different students. Jiho is taking a cooking class at the community center on Saturdays. His parents run a small restaurant. They are always busy on Saturdays, so he makes his own lunch. He is going to make spaghetti olio e olio this Saturday. I'm a good cook. It's a very simple recipe. 
Ye Jin's favorite hobby is dancing. She is a new member of the school dance club. Members come to the school gym on Saturdays and practice dance moves. These days, Ye Jin is learning hip hop moves. The club will perform at the school festival next month. I'll learn the moves this weekend. Adrian is from Geneva, Switzerland. He and his family live in Busan. His favorite hobby is skiing, but it does not snow very much in Busan. Now he has a new hobby. On Saturdays, he goes around the city and takes pictures with his camera. He will go back to Geneva next year, and he will take his new hobby with him. I'm taking pictures of Hyundai Beach. The Sodom Times, reporting local news for Sodomgu. Students report. Visit Bodom Library. There is a special place for teenagers, Bodom Library. It is next to Bodom Middle School. The library has about ninety-five thousand books and fifteen thousand DVDs. Teenagers can read books and watch movies here. They can also join bookmaking, future writers, and other programs. Here at Bodom Library, people can also meet a cute street cat, Nodong. Nodong comes to the library every morning and sits at the front door. Ms. An, the librarian, says he doesn't read books, but he reads your mind. Say hello to him. And he'll greet you with a meow. Opening hours: 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday to Sunday, closed on Mondays. Contact: 12340000. www.bodomlibrary.or.kr. Letters to the editor. Sodan Park is for everyone. Sodan Park is a very important place for me and many others. I often visit the park for family picnics. A lot of people relax or exercise at the park, but these days this lovely place is getting dirty. Some people walk their dogs without a leash and don't clean up after their dogs. Some teens. Leave trash everywhere. We must keep this park clean. This is a place for everyone. Han Bomi, Tongmundong. Ad, Green Flea Market. Save money and help the environment. The next market is on June twenty seventh. There is something for everyone. You can buy things at low prices. Most items are one thousand to five thousand won. When? Ten a.m. to six p.m. every fourth Saturday from March to November. Where? Next to Bodom Sports Center. For more information. Visit www.greenfleamarket.org. We welcome sellers. Don't throw away your old clothes, shoes, or books. They will be useful to someone. A diary from Antarctica. Mr. Nam spent a year in Antarctica. He worked as a cook at Antarctic Jung Bogo Station. He recorded his life there in his diary. March twenty-first. There is a garden in the station. Today, I picked some vegetables and made bibimbap for lunch. Everyone liked it very much. I enjoy cooking for the people here. May thirtieth. The polar night goes on. The moon and the stars are always in the sky. I miss the sun. It is really cold, but I do not catch a cold. Viruses cannot live here. June twenty-first. 
Today was midwinter day. It is a big holiday in Antarctica. We got many e cards from other stations. I cooked patchuk for dinner. We wished each other good luck. July 10th. Last night, I ate fresh fruit in a dream. Sadly, that dream did not come true. At about noon, colorful lights danced across the sky. I took pictures of the auroras. August 15th. The sun finally returned. Everyone watched the sunrise and shouted with joy. In the afternoon, the scientists went out to the sea. They study sea animals in Antarctica. Working outside is very hard for the people here. September 20th. Someone saw a Weddell seal. It means the end of the long winter months. It also means we will soon have visitors to the station. The station will not be a lonely place anymore. I cannot wait. November 17th. A helicopter brought a few people to the station. I got some bananas from them. What a wonderful gift! I cooked ramyun for them, and they liked it very much. I go home in two months. I'm going to eat bananas every day. Teen Talk People travel around the world. Cultures do too. Do you experience different cultures in your home, school, or community? Share your experiences with teens around the world. Kelly, Chicago, 14. Food trucks come to our neighborhood and serve food from other countries. Last Saturday, I tried Korean bulgogi cup bop, and it was delicious. You should try it too. Back home, I went online and found the recipe. I want to cook this Korean dish someday. Today, I ate sundubu. You should try bibimbap too. Alexei, Moscow, 16. In the evening, my parents and I gather in the living room and watch Korean TV programs. My mother loves to watch dramas. She wants to visit all the beautiful places in Korea someday. I love to watch music programs. I am a big fan of K-pop. There will be a K-pop concert in Moscow in November. I plan to go. I visited the Hanok village in Jeonju last year. It was fantastic. You should visit Jeju-do next. Christine, Manila, 15. I am learning Taekwondo in school. I love to practice different kicks. The master always gives commands in Korean, so I learn some Korean too. Next month, I have a test for my black belt, so I should practice every day. I know Jumbi and Shijak. Good luck! George, London, 14. Our class had a day tour of the British Museum last week. In room 67, there were old Korean vases, coins, paintings, and many other interesting things. I also saw a sarangbang, a traditional Korean study room. There was not enough time so I plan to go back next weekend. I was there last Saturday. I took some pictures. Why don't you visit the National Museum of Korea later? People in my town. People in my town have different jobs. There are cooks, teachers, doctors, bus drivers, and so on. Thanks to them, I know a lot of things about jobs. Mr. Austin lives next door. 
He is a script writer for TV dramas. His mystery series are always very popular. He travels a lot and meets many people to get ideas for his work. When he has free time, he usually reads books for more ideas. Last Saturday, I asked him about the last episode of his drama, but he said, You'll see it on TV, Emma. Oh, I can't wait. When I start writing a new series, I usually stay up late for days. When I walk around the corner, a sweet smell comes from Ms. Gray's bakery. She gets up really early to bake bread and cakes. Sometimes she makes a new kind of bread. Then we can taste it for free. Her bread is always wonderful. She is like a magician. She works wonders with flour, milk, and eggs. What a great job! I have to get up at four to bake fresh bread. Mr. Williams lives near the park. When my dog gets sick, I always take her to him. He does his best to treat her. Sometimes he goes to different farms to take care of animals. Last Sunday, he got a call from Ms. Bailey. He hurried to her farm. With his help, her cow gave birth to a cute baby. Ms. Bailey was happy and thanked the doctor. Animals can't talk about their problems. I always try to understand them. Mm, follow your dreams. Please come to Classroom 101. December 23rd. Students in Class 101 are having a meeting in their classroom. They plan to visit a nursing home and spend some time with the people there. Let's give them some gifts. Good idea. But how can we get the money? We can raise money in a fun way. Each student brings a special item to school and sells it to someone else. Sounds good. Let's invite our parents and teachers, too. That'll be great! December 27th. There are students, teachers, and parents in Classroom 101. Some of them are talking about their special items. I moved here from Ulsan last year. At first, I didn't have many friends here. I often played with this ball alone. A few weeks later, there was a soccer game in PE class. I scored two goals and my team won. After that, I made a lot of friends. So, to me, this soccer ball is more special than a World Cup match ball. I'll buy it for 20,000 won. My son will love it. This is an album by the Beatles. It's older than you. My dad gave me this album on my 13th birthday. I liked the songs on this album very much. My love for music started with this album. Now I'm a music teacher. So this album is special to me. I'll pay 5,000 won for it. You can't see my special item. Guess what? It's time. I'll give you two hours of my free time on Saturday. I can help you with your homework. I can take care of your pets. I can go shopping for you. I can also carry heavy things because I'm very strong. You're stronger than me, right? I'll buy your time for 30,000 won. December 30th. Some students go to a local market and buy socks, gloves, and some fruit. Others practice popular songs in the classroom. January 1st. It is the morning of New Year's Day. The students are on their way to the nursing home. 
They are carrying a gift bag in each hand. The air is very cold, but they feel warm inside. Hurry! Hurry, says the morning. Don't be late for school. Hurry, says the teacher. Hand in papers now. Hurry, says the mother. Dinner's getting cold. Hurry, says the father. Time to go to bed. Slowly, says the darkness. You can talk to me. Max. Max is a great baseball player. He runs fast, jumps high, and never misses a ball. Every Saturday, he plays with his team in the park. On Saturday mornings, he walks with his sister Lisa to her dance school. The school is on the way to the park. One Saturday, Max and Lisa get to the dance school early. You still have lots of time before the game. Will you come inside and watch the lesson? Lisa asks. Max thinks for a while, and then he says okay. Soon, the class begins. He gets a chair and sits near the door. He watches silently. Then, the teacher says to Max, Join the class. He tries some dance moves. He has fun. The class lines up. The girls leap across the floor. Max watches carefully. Max, look at the clock. You must leave now, Lisa shouts. Max says, Wait, this will be fun. He waits and takes his turn. Then he must go. He leaps all the way to the park. He is late. Everybody is waiting for him. He is at bat. Strike one. He tries again. Strike two. And then, a home run. Now Max warms up for his Saturday games in a new way. He goes to dance class. Wonderful whales. Meet the big friends in the sea. Whales live in the water. They look and swim like fish, but they aren't fish at all. Whales can't stay under the water all the time. They can't breathe under water, so they come up to the surface for air from time to time. Whales make sounds. And they communicate with these sounds. A whale's call can reach 188 decibels, and other whales can hear it from hundreds of kilometers away. Whales are very big animals. A blue whale's tongue is the size of an elephant, and its heart is the size of a small car. One large blue whale in the Antarctic Ocean. Was 30.5 meters long, and weighed around 150 tons. Even a baby blue whale is big; it weighs around one ton at birth. Whales are very useful animals. When they come up to breathe, they sometimes poop. Their poop becomes food for sea animals near the surface. Whales are also useful for animals in the deep sea. The body of a dead whale falls deep down into the sea. This is a whale fall. It becomes food for many fish there. No phone, no life. Oh no! My phone is almost dead. Grandma, I missed you so much. By the way, I forgot my charger. Can I use yours? Sure. Here you are. Oh no! It doesn't fit. My life is over. What should I do? <laughs> Why don't you play with some cute animals? Cute animals? I want to see them. Come this way. There are five puppies over there. Aw, how cute! 
Grandma, I'm so hungry. I want to have some pizza. I'll make you pajan. The pajan is ready. Try it. Mm, it's delicious. It's better than pizza. I would like to look at some pictures. Pictures? I'll show you the family album. That's your dad. Here are your grandpa, your great grandpa, and. Did you all live together? Yes. Was it fun? It was sometimes fun and sometimes difficult. I miss the old days. I'm home, Mom! You forgot your charger. Were you okay without it? Yes, Mom. I had a great time with Grandma.